this is a bit of lettering that threw me out of the book when I read Miss Endicott. It's a great book, great art, great panel composition. Go to pipelinecomics.com to read my whole thing. But the lettering in this panel bothered me, and I'm going to show you why. It has to do with layers and depth and dimension. Just to set up the scene, we have Prudence Endicott right here, and these are the Forgotten. They're an underground group of people, and she's in their lair. She's in their world, so to speak. And you can see from the way this is laid out, you have one, two, three of them in front of her. Then she's over here, and then there's more or less a crowd in the back. And the crowd in the back is saying things, and you know the things they say show up back here, and this one here. And then these two, word balloons, so to speak, go straight at these two speakers. But here's where things get a little bit confusing. This word balloon here makes sense. Prudence is overlapping it because she's in front of, she's here, these people are in the background, She's in front of them, so their voices are behind her. So that kind of makes sense to overlap there. We could probably just assume that since this is also the background voices and it's right next to this one, it's also in the background of voices. But then, confusingly, this word balloon overlaps the word balloon of a person who's actually standing in front of Prudence Endicott. And just to make things even more confusing, that word balloon here is overlapped by another word balloon of a person who is standing behind this speaker. So you have this character, we'll call him one, he's the front most of the speakers. This character, number two, he's behind number one, but number two, his voice balloon is overlapping on top of number one, even though number one is overlapping and on top of number two. And if that isn't confusing enough for you, this word balloon is overlapped by Prudence Endicott, which would seem to indicate the person speaking is also behind her, but he's not, he's in front of her. And the person who's actually in front of him, his word balloon, is overlapped by the first guy. So, I'm all confused. The lettering in this panel makes no sense. There's a couple of schools of thoughts on how lettering works in comics. And one of them just says that the lettering should all be sitting on top of the art. But when you get to the point where you're utilizing it sort of to indicate position, where you're overlapping things to help show that maybe this balloon is in the background, you have to be consistent about it at that point. And this is inconsistent, wildly so. And to be fair, it's the only panel in the book I noticed this with, a volume one or even volume two, which I've read now. And I thought maybe for those of you who are doing your own web comics, who are making comics on your own, who don't think about lettering that much, this is just another thing maybe to give thought to when you're making your own comics. And to keep track of, make the word balloons overlap each other if they're going to overlap, the same way the art shows the character speaking overlapping. For more about Miss Endicott, it's an excellent two-book series drawn by Xavier Forcamon and colored by Scarlett Smolkowski. Check out PipelineComics.com, just look up Miss Endicott in the search function there, and you will find it. Thank you all for watching, I'm Augie the Bleak Jr.